Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, this is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 3 of Let's Play The Magic World. Ho ho ho, hope you guys are doing well. Um, we made heck of progress last episode, we're back in Steam here, launching the game. Uh, could try Launchbox next time, I don't, I don't think it should matter too much. But, um, yeah, we made good progress last time. Met some interesting NPCs and such. And, uh, let's see, we're going to make good progress today, hopefully. As soon as this baby loads. Seems to be taking a while. Oh, there we go. Wait for program to respond. I'm playing on my new laptop. Come on, flaming dragons. Apologize for the delay, guys. <laughs> oh, man. We're in Slowville here to start the episode. One sec, guys. I we back. Back in the magic world. Let's go ahead and load episode two. Alright, so... Let's see. Oh, we've got the mercenary. Um, What was his name? Ivan. We've got Ivan the mercenary. Um, Let's go ahead and check our quest journal. Letter given. Never turn to Nikolay... Heron. Um. Oh, we have to return to Victor Aladov. Um, there was something I wanted to do. Um. Um. Oh. Castle entrance, West Village. Oh, snap. Outdoors. It's not where I want to go, though. Um, interesting, though. I wanted to talk to that sad woman. I think it was Americana. Yep. The moon shines at night and will light your way. My name is Mertzana. I'm studying to be a druid to help people. Forgive my sadness. What happened to you? You are too sad. I don't even know if you can help me. My close friend stole from me my necklace, which we have been collecting for so long. It is magical, made of a bright red ruby of unprecedented beauty. Why did he betray you? Jamie Gugritz, the local royal mechanic, a very talented and wealthy person, owned several floors in the castle where he developed various mechanisms for the king. We lived together for a while. He was a very close friend of mine, but he wanted more, and I had to live somewhere to learn to be a druid. Understand. But he is too ugly and disgusting. <laughs> you will understand if you see him. And lately he began to behave very strangely. He was nervous and worried. Maybe he knew about the attack and assisted the Leovard army? The soldiers would not have been able to find the entrance to the castle tunnel so quickly without someone's help. In general, a week ago he gave me a ring and wanted to marry me. Food, just not with this. So how did he steal the necklace? No way. Waking up the next morning, neither he nor the necklace was there. And when I went to the clothing store, when I returned, I did not find the entrance to the labyrinth through which I got into his chambers. The entrance just disappeared. James must have moved it. 
Until I moved here, I don't care what happens to this idiot, but I need my necklace. It's magic, and it's mine. Oh, okay. Help me get my necklace back, and I'll give you 25,000 gold coins and 100 gems. Of course we will help, but how can we find it? New quest? Oh, I'm just so happy to hear that. My dears, now I will explain everything to you how it is best to, re to turn it. The main entrance to the labyrinth is located to the left of the throne room. You need to go left, then straight ahead, then straight ahead, it seems. In general, it can be dangerous there, so be careful. To open the entrance to the labyrinth, you will need to say the password 0100. Okay, let's try to find this necklace. Huh. Okay, so... I think we were in that area, and we, um, were asked for the password. Let's go ahead and save as 3A, and hit the sarcophagus of Shadows the Conqueror. Nothing. Wow. Surprising. All right, let's check who this is. McKelly Vary, Ambassador. Kauto to my guests. My name is Mikkel Vary. I came from far and wide to see this creation. The stone castle is certainly an example of great engineering architecture. No wonder this enemy army of yours can't even approach it. In my kingdom, such castles know we have little stone and most of the buildings are made of wood and clay. However, for defense, it is necessary to build just such castle fortresses. Unfortunately, due to the war, the royal advisors have not accepted me yet. I can understand them, because they have a lot of... Because they have a lot of... I really need to talk to them and conclude a number of diplomatic agreements. Speak. Monsieur, may I ask for you a favor? Yes, sure. How can I help? Nothing special, just if you find drawings of this castle somewhere, I will be immensely grateful to you. I'm very fond of mechanics and architecture. I love to sing, willing to pay 3,500 coins for blueprints. Hmm. Um. One second, guys. Yes, of course, if they come across to me. New quest, find blueprints for a stone castle. Berta Tokenberg, widow. Greetings on behalf of Lord Tokenberg's widow. My name is Bertha. Come in and have some tea. Did you know that swamp lizards are the smallest of the lizards? Remember that lizards have very strong natural resistance to water, so water spells are useless against them. Try to use fire or magic attacks, attacks against them. Speak. Good afternoon. As I have already introduced myself, my name is Bertha Tokenberg. I am the widow of Lord Hans Tilkenberg, the founder of Tilkenberg. If you have not heard of him, then know that he was the bravest and noblest warrior. What happened to him? Unfortunately, I do not know this. He went on some kind of hike to the west through the swamps, but never came back. None of his brave warriors returned. No one knows what could have happened to them, and there are no remains of them anywhere. I beg you, if you meet something from his equipment somewhere, then bring it to me. Our coat of arms depicts a golden eagle. If you meet a helmet or shield with a similar decoration somewhere, then bring it to me and I will pay you handsomely. All right, Bertha. Find Lord Tokenberg's family armor. Thank you for agreeing to help find our family armor. Most likely they are located somewhere in the eastern marshes. Goodbye, Bertha. We'll try to find him. Uh, Ina Kostjigic, the Lord's wife. Welcome to my house, gentlemen. My name is Ina, and I think you can help me with one thing. As I said, my name is Ina Kostjugic, and I need your help in solving a delicate problem. Of course we'll help you. Tell us more about what happened. The fact is that my years are melting and I'm not getting younger, but according to rumors, there are huge swamps behind the royal sewer where various strange creatures live. So there grows a rare plant, a large-leaved swamp. You can make an elixir of youth from its leaves. I really need these leaves, but I don't want anyone to know that I use this elixir. But how to get there? 
I have a key to the door in the tunnels leading to the sewers from where you can get into the swamps. Bring me five of these leaves and I will pay you 5,000 coins and give you 10 gems. Do you agree? Of course, Ina, you know, we will get these magic leaves. New quest, and we know where that door is. Thank you for your help, but in no case, do not tell my husband about it. I'm waiting to hear from you. I forgot we have gems. Hold the key. Castle sewer key. The door is located in a corridor with a terrible smell and overgrown walls. Because of the terrible humidity, you will immediately understand what I'm talking about. I see. Good luck in finding the magic herb. Um... What was I going to say? We're picking up a lot of quests here. Um... Nestor Petrovich. Master Grain Mag. Okay, he teaches earth and water magic. Um, Oksana, we talked to. Arnold. Fire magic student. Okay. So there's some trainers. Uh, let's go to this back alley again. And check out the different... Natalia Davilova. A poet. Hello, you mortals. My name is Natasha. I'm a poet, and I dream of moving to Tilkenberg. It's so beautiful and fabulous. It was built 60 years ago by order of Lord Tilkenberg as a temporary outpost to protect the stone castle. <coughs> I think we read this already, but... But over time, it quickly expanded due to its convenient location and the presence of three rivers at once and turned into a center of trade, crafts, and arts. If you are there, then look at what amazing views open from its walls. Oh, I want to write new poems about it now. Hello, I'd love to chat, but I have work right now. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, wrong door. Right, we talked about her. There's a witch. We do have gems. I forgot about that. That we can sell, presumably. Alina Voru. Come in. Household and household goods. Household and household goods. Um. Various stuff. Can I sell gems? Um, oh, we have no gems for some reason. I thought we had gems. Um, 25 coins for the potion. Um, okay. Household goods. And then we have... Kirill Efremov. The best spells. The newest scrolls. <laughs> the largest library of our castle. <laughs> Alright, a bunch of spell scrolls. Um, Torchlight. Magic Aura. We can actually almost afford them. Uh, Spellfire. Water shield, okay. Um, we can sell these for a little bit of coins. He will pay 75 for water walk spell. Okay. Um, good to sell. Alright. Uh, So, should we go use that password or check more stuff here? There's Big Tom. Yeah, I don't think we can afford anything here. There's the church. Come in and pray. <laughs> Which cures and stuff. Nothing for us right now. Um... Alright, let's, uh... Come down this way. This is the tavern. Alright, we have to return to Nikolov. Here's Borya. Hey, what's up? Doesn't have anything to say. We have these areas. Pierre. Artist. What's the matter? I'm not expecting guests. Please leave my room. Sorry, wrong door. Rufina Belkova. Teacher. Greetings from Rufina. I work as a teacher helping people gain knowledge. 
Knowledge, unlike the sword, will allow you to achieve your goal safely. The most respected people in the kingdom have knowledge in various fields. As I said, I work as a teacher and I can tell you about skill levels. Skill levels? There are seven levels in total. Incapable, ignorant, apprentice, student, expert, master, master. Which one to talk about specifically? The unable level? One who is unable to master this skill. A prime example is the skinny mage. His intellect is in order, but the strength is very low. An athlete will not come out of him. If a person is not able to master a skill even at the level of a student, then it is not worth spending time and money trying to master it. It is better to focus on the skills that are more characteristic of him. For example, a strong warrior should not waste time reading books. It will be much more useful to train in the art of wielding a sword or an axe. Okay, um, what about the ignorant level? An ignorant person is capable of learning a skill but does not understand its application at all and does not have the necessary knowledge for this. For example, an intelligent guy, in principle, can learn to fix things well, but until no one has taught him this art, he will not be of any use in repairs. If he tries to fix something, he will most likely break it. To get student status, you need to find a teacher who teaches beginners. Okay, apprentice level. This level of the student indicates that the person has completed the basic training course. He has some ideas and is able to perform simple actions such as craft casting the simplest spells. Student level. The student confidently performs the basic and simple components of the skill being studied. Um, expert level. An expert who performs most skill components with confidence, such as medium and advanced spells. He has extensive practical experience in its use. Master level. The master is fluent <laughs> in all of the components of the skill, easily mastering any new mechanics of its use. And the other master's level? The, oh, the magister. The magister not only uses, but also develops some skill techniques, such as new types of spells, describes their nature, and creates teaching materials, such as books, scrolls, etc. The magister is the highest rank, and only a few are honored to become a master. Thank you very much, Rafina. Goodbye. Throw our doors back here. John Iko. What do you want? Get out of here. Plumbing engineer. Ivan Torpor, some sort of ranged unit. They um. don't work. Mm. They don't work. Um, then there's Kesa. They don't work. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and save. That's 3B. I'm going to go ahead and light a smoke here in a second, guys. So that's pretty much everybody except those few. It's um, getting pretty late. I want to hit my water bottle here. Um, let's go return to Victor. And uh, see what he has to say. I was corner. <laughs> I smell a traitor. His Majesty <laughs> Gazar the Force. Igor, did you inform the bartender about the recruitment of the squad? Yes, just got back with a reply. Give a message to the tavern about the recruitment of the people squad. Great job, son. Now excuse me, I'm very busy. Don't thank me, there's a war on. Um... 690 XP. Looks like nobody can level up yet. Gonna light the smoke. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk. His Majesty <laughs> At the moment. Gazar the Force. 
king does not conduct receptions. Victor. Die with honor. Paladin. Okay. Um. Could go this way, but. Um. The, uh. I don't know if we checked all these places. I'll up. I will have to come back at another time. Anil. Oh, if we go this way, we can get to the entrance of the castle, but. I don't know if I want to do this right now. I think we need to return to Nikolai. Zero one hundred. James Gurgit's maze entrance. Um. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to handle this. this oh and I don't like it Too many of them. Too many of them. Oh, we got far, but <laughs> we'll see the kill screen. Oh wow. I'm going to die right now. <laughs> All right, where did it um what happened? Oh, it took us back to Nikolai Tarov. Um That's why they'll pay 25,000 coins. Um, let's go ahead and just load our 3C. I don't know if we should keep, you know, like um, our failed attempts. Um, we'll return to this some other time. We know what's here. Trainers and such. Um, right now, I guess the best bet is to return to... Um, Nikolai Tarov. I don't think there's much else we can do. Um... Turn to Nikolai Terov, return the necklace, which is where we just were. Find five marsh big leaves. Uh, 
eastern swamps, help the blacksmith, find blueprints. There's a swamp with a key that we could check. Um, let's, before leaving, Old Cliff, let's come down here and get ready to check out Kesa and these people. Um, let's wait an hour. Wait till sunrise, actually. Stop. Stop. Oh, no. Rest. Okay. The day passed, but... Oh, discover fire magic. Keep just fire magic basics. Thousand coins. Some spell scrolls and stuff. Okay. Case of the fire guru. Ivan Torpor. The best Royal Training Center. You need 310 more experience to get to level 2. This is where we come for level training. And we get to pick what we want. Very nice. Um, then we've got more of these doors here. John Iko. Alright, we met him. Okay, so I th think it's time to head back to, um, what is this, South Halls? <laughs> South Corridors? Let's get out of here. I don't want to fight them right now. Alright, so I guess, like I said, we return to um, Nikolai Teron right now. So the best way to do that is to return the way we came. Towards Old Cliff. Uh, we'll save here. 3D. Okay, here's where the uh, door is. What is it? <laughs> Let's grab the key. Then... It seems the enemy is nearby. To the sewer. Oh. Coins and a health potion. strong for us. Okay, we don't want to come here yet. <laughs> don't want to go there yet. The big frog is a little too much for us. But good to know, it rules out some areas for us to go. I thought it was okay at first, but clearly not. Tunnels to the castle. What was that? Just a weird something or other? Let's 
head down this way. Um, I don't see any new enemies. Can you click this? Yes, you can. Oh, so wait, everybody can click those power-ups? Is that how it works? Wait a minute, I might have to return. I didn't realize everybody could click them. I know we'll return here sometime, but while it's on my mind, I want to do it. Turn to Nikolai Teron. All right, so right here, you can click it then. No, wait, nothing. Maybe not. Let's try the other ones, the liquids that we can drink from. I think we can probably redo those. This one was just refreshing, I think. There was no magic in that one. This one. Luck plus five. Luck plus five. Okay, so we can do this. Let's come to this barrel. Keg, nothing. Nothing. Interesting. We can all get the benefits. Drink water. And select. I think persistent means permanent. Um, I could be wrong. Now let's go to those barrels in the throne room. And there's a dungeon in here. <laughs> <coughs> Nothing. 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 Now let's try her. Nothing. Huh. Maybe not. Okay, I can't use the kegs. Just the waters. Let's see if that luck is still with him. It seems to be. Higher luck. Alright, um... Now we can return to Nikolai Teron. Pretty confident here. That we've done mostly everything here. Well... Maybe. Kind of return when we have much more gold. And let's head out. way oh 
up or not too late for Nikolai. Like after waiting 24 hours by mistake. just has to try the different power-up areas and <laughs> see if multiple unit characters can do it. I guess we return this way to Nikolai. <laughs> to the tunnels. We don't have a key for that door. I don't think this water was anything. Oh. Just refreshing. Go to level Old Cliff. Check the picture. Nothing that I can tell. The picture may have something going on with it, but maybe our perception's not high enough. Alright, we are back. Go ahead and save. 3E. The king sent a detachment of guards for protection, or at least something. I thought it would take longer to persuade him. Master Nikolai, what should we do next? Okay. Next, you need to turn on the levers to activate the traps in the castle to increase its protection. Listen carefully. When you went to the tunnels, you passed through a room with a well, candelabra, and columns. There, a slug attacked you. You remember her? Um, how do you know that a slug attacked me? You have just begun to comprehend your training in the power of magic and are still too young to understand what is capable of... What it is capable of. Let's just say I felt her echo. I felt your fear. Item received. Key to the lock me mechanism control room. All in all, in general, this room, in this room, there is a door with a lock, and here is the key to this door. There are levers in the room, and you have to switch two levers with traps. If everything goes well, you will hear a click. Do you understand the task? Yes, of course, teacher. Start the lock defense mechanism. Fine, in one moment. Although you are not yet fully trained under such circumstances, I am forced to teach you the first combat spell in waterbending. Hold this book and read it now. Take a book. Here, learn this spell. Bubbles, but teacher, this is the simplest spell. Even children know it. They can attack me. Can you teach me how to freeze? We don't have time to argue. Do what you're told immediately. Okay, teacher. Wonderful. Now go. Okay. Um. Good to know. We have... Another skill book, water magic spell. Um. Oh, time to level up for Igor and everybody else. Very cool. So Igor has the flow of bubbles, water damage plus one, a stream of water bubbles is set in enemies, dealing water damage, five magic points. Very cool. All right, let's save again. Um might be time to call it an episode uh 39 minutes yeah just in time so i want to thank you guys for joining me i hope you enjoyed this episode of exploration and fun stuff next time we will head into that locked room do the control mechanisms and then return to nikolai uh we also have the training points we could go and train um possibly with a local armsman the warrior trainer who can give us different skills 
And it seems there's going to be a good level of character customization that way. Like, um... You know, we can give each character different weapon skills as we see fit. Pay for different magic skills in time. It's going to be cool, so... Hope you'll join me for that. Much more to come. I'm definitely going to play a lot more of this. I'm having a blast thus far. Hope you guys are too. Here's the door. So uh, next time we head on in with the key. So I hope you join me. Hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Much love, peace, and joy. And uh, stay tuned for more of the magic world. It's a little bit janky, but it's a lot of bit fun. <laughs> See you guys then. Bye-bye.